There he is. The man, the myth, the legend, the badger. Anyway, we're over here at the uh, HVAC company picking up a little bit of miscellaneous tin. Me and the badger got the steak body loaded pretty good. Ah. Hey, look at that little bonus right on off the top. Right off the top, a bonus of that and this. A little bit of uh, a little bit of in canal in there. Vince got some more over there. That's all right. We'll pull pull the whole thing out. Hey, a couple oh, little don't you go little down. pieces of aluminum. Yes, it going on. Just but it's not nothing exciting. A couple hundred pounds of tin. Oh, and an electric motor hiding back there. Thought it was gonna get away. The badger is ferociously digging in the box for little goodies here and there. Yes. What did it turn out to be? Oh, a little bit of a little bit of wire with a bucket there. Well, they weigh each, Vince, about a quarter of a pound. Yeah. Well, put them in, put them in the truck. Oh, that's right. Wow, how about that glare? I guess you can't see it too much on the phone. That's right oh, in my face. I'm gonna give you this box, buddy, if I can lift it. Okay. Right, bottoms, down. bottoms gonna fall out. Yeah, I see. So here. I Ready for the bonus? Oh, okay. Wait a minute. The bonus ain't here yet, but here. Oh, okay. Hold on. But the bonus coming. I'm gonna grab the bonus this time. Nice. One. A little piece of copper? Yes. Yes. Oh. oh. That's a nice one. This is a nice one. But mm. it, it gets better though. It gets better than a yeah. quarter pound piece of copper? No, it's better than copper. Oh yeah. I saw that back there. I already got it. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay. Here's a bonus. Let me taste that. Okay. We'll just end up breaking that plastic uh, box off the end there. A little bit of electric motor going on. The scavenger says there's another nice treat. Let's see. Da, da, da. Oh, a little copper and brass action. All copper. No, that valve's brass. Ah, hell. Hold up. Well, let me pull out the other surprise. But... These people are going to wonder what kind of scrapper you are. Can't tell the difference between copper and brass. No, 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 no. Yellow and red. I'm the badger. I got to pick out what kind of snake I want, goddamn. <laughs> Yeah, we'll get a gander at it. Go ahead and sling that on up there, that spaghetti. Sure, spaghetti, spaghetti line. There's all brass and copper. Nothing crazy. Anything it's else, good. Badger? Yeah, it's small. I got some more treats in here. Okay, are you getting them now or? No, this shit is on. Now. Okay. All right, all loaded up, ready to go. Threw one strap on there for safety. Badgers. Yeah. How you feeling, Badger? Hmm, pretty good, pretty good. Just ain't got enough weight up here. Okay, well that's, that's okay. We, whatever, you know, we're grateful for that. Scraps down to about five cents a hundred where I live, so that's hardly anything. And I've got a seat full of aluminum. Can't shift gears because Badger's got me all assed up here. Uh-oh, hold on. Mm -hmm, get it straight, Badger. Oh, you know what? This shit going on the back. <laughs> Hell yeah, hold up here. So, I got some scrap to go pick up. So, back here at my dad's house. And uh, I had this aluminum trailer sitting here. So, I figured instead of going right past the junkyard empty to pick up the scrap, I'd run something there at the same time. The trailer's all aluminum except for the tongue here. This is steel. Well, this part, the pipe. Aluminum frame. It'll be considered dirty aluminum though because of uh, the steel bolts that hold it together. Right here and here and these little deck deck screws but the frames all aluminum throw a little aluminum ladder in there as well run that down might be 10 or 15 dollars not too bad all right so hopefully you can read this this is the uh ticket from that the brown steak body load of tin that i had right up there it had uh 1700 pounds at five dollars a hundred got 85 for that and then me and Badger had a couple electric motors and a little bit of aluminum as well. So it rounded out to $90. And then the 
ticket for just now. Let's see here. Oh, focus. There you go. That uh, that trailer was surprisingly heavier, more than I thought. Wow, that's not focusing at all. But uh, it weighed 220 pounds, fifteen dollars a, I mean, fifteen cents a pound for a total of thirty-three dollars. So that was pretty good. Got an empty truck, and here picking up this load of scrap. Got a little dirt bike action going on. Some batteries, radiator, and just some other light tin. So let's go ahead and get going. Back at my dad's house with this little load I picked up. I'm just gonna throw it all in this 500 gallon tank. I, uh, when I have small little loads like this, I normally throw it in that tank and sometimes I'll dig it back out and throw it back on the truck or if I have another tank, I'll just um, put that whole tank on the truck, set it to, send it to the scrap yard. I'm gonna get this over with and then I got uh, uh, maybe a thousand pounds or so of um, brake rotors right there back in the woods. I'm gonna load those up, some steel wheels and go cash those in on the way to meet my core guy who buys catalytic, catalytic converters and my batteries. He owes me a little bit of money from the last time. So get this unloaded and head down the road, see what we get. Okay, so after unloading all the steel and whatnot, this is the more valuable stuff that's left. This pile right here is clean aluminum. This radiator would be in that category as well. It's an aluminum radiator but it has this one small drain plug here that is steel, steel right here and then the plug is brass itself. So that has to be taken out in order to get clean aluminum price. Nothing else on it is steel. And got a couple pieces of clean cast aluminum here. And this piston is cast aluminum as well, but because it still has the compression and the oil rings on it, which are steel, you have to take those off to get clean cast price. Got a little copper head gasket here and a couple rotors. These two rotors, when they're clean like that with no studs, like these, the wheel studs, they're $7.25 per hundred. But if you turn in any of them with the load that have the lugs, the whole load gets knocked down to less than tin price, $3 a hundred, and tins at $5 a hundred. So if you aren't going to separate your, you know, cast rotors and stuff like that you can just throw them in with the tin but you got to knock these studs out if you want to get the seven dollars and 25 cents per hundred so a little little schooling for you there got all the rotors loaded up that uh that little bit of aluminum and all that i talked about in the last clip i cleaned it all up got batteries over there in the corner for my core guy and then like i said the rotors there and just want to give you all a quick example these have studs, both of these have studs in them still. These are steel studs. So I just want to show how quick and easy it is to knock them out to double your money. Oh yeah, right in the way. Hmm. Hold on. Hang tight. Maybe it'll stay there. 
you're leaning up against the hose on a motor. And that's all it takes to get them clean. Just knock them right out. They're splined. They're not screwed in like a, a lug nut. They're just splined inside of that hole there. So it's very easy. Not time consuming at all. Round two. I found another one. Nice. Very easy. And then this is the, uh, the spline that I was talking about. These are the threads on this side. And then these fine lines are the spline. They're just pushed in in the factory so they bang right out. Quick little view. What a nightmare. There's the old Hyundai still hanging out, hanging tough. Alrighty, all loaded up. Scrapyard has a separate category for steel wheels, separate category for clean drums and rotors, and uh, like I said, I have a little bit of aluminum there. If I had to make an educated guess, I have between 400, 450 and 500 pounds of steel wheels, and I want to say between seven and 800 of drums and rotors. So let's see how, how educated I really am. Almost forgot, I got this little... Uh, mixed array of bs here some copper pipe couple faucets electric motor another motor that uh that wire came out of the scrap that i just picked up it was a drop light and then dirty aluminum like a uh, aluminum shovel snow shovel so run that down with it since we're going and also my educated guess tends to be on the light side so it might be heavier but it's definitely not lighter Okay, so since I had a little bit of uh, weight, enough, enough to make something decent, they, uh, they gave me the 725 for the steel wheels and the, I um, thought he was going to tell me not to record there, uh, crane coming through. Anyway, got sidetracked, I don't know what I was talking about, but um, the... Uh, they gave me a better price for everything all in one instead of two separate prices so that's that so due to the fact that they let me dump uh, the steel wheels with the drums and rotors we won't know what each of them weighed but the total there 1,840 pounds that's more than my two educated guesses combined so that's always good and oh I got for a total of $138 I'm going to try and scroll slow here so you can read all what else I had. Total of $165. Not too shabby. Alright, so we'll go ahead and finish this video up video up with this uh hundred dollar truck I just bought. It's supposed to run and drive, but it has no oil pressure. And supposedly all it needs is a battery. So I have a battery. And it's in the industrial park about a quarter mile from my dad's house. So it should definitely make it there without locking up. Look at that professional uh, connection there, boy. Might have to tighten those up. Oh, it's an inline six with a stick. Let's see if it'll crank up. Oh, nothing. Got to tighten connection up. Round two. Tighten the battery cables up. Let's see. 
Oh, still nothing. Try it again. All right, 15 minutes later, and surprisingly that uh, eaten up battery cable slash repair job was the problem. Let's see. Oh my gosh, still nothing. Wow, that sounds horrible. And the brake pedal goes straight to the floor. All right, so hopefully we can uh, make it the quarter mile. All right, so the truck has plenty of oil pressure and a full tank of gas. So let's see if it can last through a burnout. How was that for you? All right, thanks for watching, guys. See you later.